so in this chatbot let's say i asked uh, do i have any meetings tomorrow or is it free for me okay you have a meeting scheduled for tomorrow so you are not free okay uh, can you tell me if i'm free at morning 9 to 10 Oh great. Can you can you book another meeting for me at morning 9 to 10 uh, named Mukesh Kumar email is mukesh@gmail.com. Great. So how's the weather today in Delhi? Is it cold or hot? Oh great. May I can go out for swimming tomorrow? And is there any places? Just list down to all the places. Great, 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 great. So this is how it actually works. So without wasting time, let's right jump into how this entire tool works. So we are using Init N, which is a open source, and it helps us to make a workflow, and we can use AI agents to do our work. So what is first? It starts from a Telegram chat trigger, so you can get the same trigger as Telegram. And when you click it, you have all the options. You go to triggers. There's an option on on messages. So whenever you select a on message, so whenever there's a new message, it will it will get triggered. So how you gonna get the accounts for it? Means for the API key and the clients. What you do? You just need the access token. So if you go to Telegram and go to this particular chatbot, Bot Father, you do a new slash new bot, and it will give you all the required things and the access token. Next, I I'm thinking to get two type of messages. Either it's audio or text. So I'm using a switch. It's a simple switch. It have two conditions. If my message, because Telegram gives you message like this, it's a JSON format. You can use it as a table. You can see as a table or schema. So if it's having a voice, means if it's having audio. So I'm putting a condition. If its voice is not defined, you can just drag and drop. It works like this. If it's not undefined, means there is a audio. So I'm making a boolean condition and true. If it's a text. dot text so i'm making a condition as okay it's a text value so i'm just renaming the output as text next step is if it's a normal text so i'm putting a edit field it's a just extra step to just lower down what i need to filter in the in the later end so i'm just putting a query and i'm putting the text for i'm getting so it it's a manual map, mapping Next one is a if I get a audio. What I do if I get a audio, I'm using another node which is also a Telegram node. Same way you can get it, Telegram. Click here, and there's something called get a file. So when you use that particular node, get a file, you just need to pass a file ID. So where is file ID in this particular JSON? It's here. So I just use this file ID, and it will give you. the data as a binary data so you can download the file also in your in a local system then i'm using extra node at the open ai it's also available here open ai it ask you what kind of action you want to perform so i need a transcribe because i have audio i need to transcribe in a particular query so i i use this you can use your open ai open ai account Here's the API key. You you create your account. If you don't know how to do it, there is a doc available. Click on that doc, and it will give you the steps what to follow. It have audio audio file, and it's a simple. It's auto auto selected all the values. Just keep it like this. So it have a limitation of twenty five MB. So you can't use a file which is more than twenty five MB. Okay. 
then the both node goes to one ai agent so the sole purpose of this ai agent is to talk to different kind of tools i will show you what kind of tools so it have different kind of tools i will explain one by one let's see first what is ai agent itself so let's say it get a text it have a little kind of prompt which is defined here let's see what is the prompt so you are an intelligent assistant using vector store http hooks and google calendar resolve your query use a query so i have different kind of role and responsibilities so if the if someone ask for news and all so this prompt gonna work for a personal assistant these kind of prompt will be used actually uh, here i'm mentioning if it's a meeting for availability and for appointments do use availability tool and the appointment tool for another kind of purpose i am using a google search engine for other things we can use vector database also but i'm not using it in this particular demo this is the prompt you can copy this prompt i will put the link in the description where you can just copy this particular uh prompt and you can use it so how this works is chat model memory and tool so chat model is for doing queries to lnm models we are using open ai you can use gemini also if i say open ai here i have these options i'm using this open ai embed chat model this simple chat model i'm using gpt4 mini because you can use uh, gpt3 turbo and other things but i'm thinking gpt4 mini is the cheapest one for now for my kind of purpose for this demo purpose we are using this window buffer memory because it's easy to implement and here are the tools which we are using to give the particular response according to according to the what user ask let's say for availability tool it's a google calendar you go to google calendar here it is it have different options so let's say uh, for getting whether you have availability or not you use get availability in calendar for creating a event you use this this create event which is here appointment tool so let's see what is available in this so available tool is is very simple you need to just sign in with your google account you choose from which calendar list this is start date and end date so actually whenever a agent calls these tools it can pre fill this data based on your query so how you use it you use here is the example is given so you use from ai means means ai agent and then the placeholder placeholder means the value so i'm getting a start date and end date from my ai agent and i'm using time zone as a time zone actually it's not available so you remove this you add this there is a time zone and for india there is a kolkata Asia slash Kolkata. That's how you add the time zone. For checking whether uh, available, uh, there is a meeting or is it free or not, we are using this availability tool. For creating me meetings or appointments, we have this appointment tool. It's actually a Google Calendar only, which is this create an event. Click on this, and it's also use the same Google Calendar authentication. everything is same except this operation previously it was get here it is create the same way as we are doing for availability we are getting this from ai start time and time and we are getting a extra variable here which is guest email whenever you query uh, guest email will be available if you say so and then that value you can put it you can ask more values but for this demo demo i'm thinking uh, guest email is very sufficient next is surf api it's a tool for for google search so it will let you google search anything which based on a ai agent whatever it asks 
let's say in previously we were asking swimming places in delhi right so it used this particular tool only to do a google search on our query and then give a response and then ai agent will take care of the response that how to format it properly to give it to end user so that's how we are able to access the weather we are able to access the places we can also access the let's say if i ask uh, is there any comedy show tomorrow or is there any uh, you know uh, traffic rule available when you know apply tomorrow if there is there any you know new sport news games so all these things which are you know very latest we need a way to search on a google that's 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 where serp api comes into picture and we use google search so how you got this serp api account it's very simple you can use the docs you can go here and just open docs or go to serp api i will put that link in the into description you can just go there and it's very easy you can sign in with your google account and create a api api sorry create a token then at the end when all the things are work done i'm using the same ai agent to make a final messages for for, for my telegram bot and then i'm using a additional telegram note if you go here and you do see telegram click here and there is a here send a chat send a chat it's a it's also action actually click here you will see what uh, chat id so actually it needs a chat id to give the response chat id is nothing but uh, it take care of itself so every message have a chat id well i will show you here. so if you come here you see there is a chat and id that's the same field we are using there in this that's the same chat and the output is json dot output this is the output here if you see here itself you would telegram yes telegram trigger and here is your chat id you can use the same chat id chat id is important because you need to send a message you can use from id right now it seems similar but let's say in this chat board there are many people connected or if it's a group it's not a bot it's a group so that time there will be from there will be there will be many from many to i guess so in that way it will be very hard to send to know whom to send that's why we are using this chat id let's say uh, let's say i ask do i have meeting tomorrow so do i have meeting tomorrow to see how it works so it goes here 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 open ai here here yes here okay so you have a meeting schedule so how it works so it goes to trigger then switch and because it was audio it went here then telegram ai ai put to transcribe then our agent agent sent it to chat model it okay what the person is asking then goes to buffer because there was already memory available then it went here so you can see the checkbox right it goes to availability tool check whether do i have meetings tomorrow or not because it gives you okay you have meeting because we saw that we booked two meetings here here it is right it's the same meeting which we did so we saw there is a meeting because here we did it for 9 to 10 if we go tomorrow 9 to 10 here it is right 9 am 10 pm okay so it went here and then it sent it if i say i want to book let's say i want to book a appointment tomorrow 12 am to 5 pm so it goes here and goes here it try to get what is available then it unfortunately there is a okay so it says you are not available for tomorrow appointment between 12 to 5 okay because i guess there is something available at 
there's a event actually in my calendar okay we can can then can you tell me what's the weather in delhi go here 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 then it search what's the weather in delhi come here and then it will be there. okay so it gives the report that's how it works thank you if you like the video please subscribe please hit likes and if i get 500 likes i will make this ai chatbot to 2.0 which will have more tools available into it so that it will it can work more faster and please like bye